I'm gonna, uh, let me just show you guys how to do. Um, yep, no, only one of them is negative, though. So let's, uh, let's go and look at this one, because this, this one's asking us to find the GCF. Okay, So we've just practiced on factoring. right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to work on seeing what is the greatest common factor of both of these terms. So what you can do to do that, put the hand on the other side. So what you can do to do that is you can factor both of them, right? And then see what is the largest number that goes into both of them. Now that could be a little bit of redundant, but for those of you that kind of just need more practice, there's nothing wrong with factoring both of these and seeing what it is. However, once you guys get practice with this, you can say between these two numbers, what is the largest number that goes into both of them that you can divide into both of them? 11, right? So you could say your GCF equals 11. And then what about the A's? Look at the two A terms. What is the A to the what exponent? What is the a to the what exponent divides both into a squared and a to the fourth? A squared, very good. Yeah, but we're not, we're not going to factor these. We're just trying to find the largest term that can divide into both of them. right? See, it can't be a cubed, because even though a cubed can divide into a to the fourth, a cubed cannot divide into a, a squared. right? So the largest number that divides into both of them. Then we look at the b's and the largest. Remember, a to the fourth divided by a cubed, the power rule of exponents is a to the four minus three, which equals a to the first. Let me ask you this. Yes? GCF is always going to be uh, like two or three um, equal equation things, and then each one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to match to see which one. Yep, so your answer for this one would be your GCF equals 11a squared b cubed. How'd you get the B? Because b cubed is the largest. Ver um, the variable at the largest degree that will divide into both of those. It doesn't. You guys got to remember, b divided by b cubed. Remember, when you have exponents, you don't divide the exponents into the other exponent. You subtract. So yes, b to the fifth divided by b cubed is b squared. So b squared would It's be different than 5 divided by 3. You're not <coughs> dividing 3 into 5. You subtract the exponents when you divide. So why is the b cubed? Why? Because b cubed divides into b cubed, and it divides into b fifth. It's the greatest um, power variable with the greatest power that goes into both of them. OK? Um, yes? I'll do it. We can do it more ex another example. Pick one. Sure. 